everyone, welcome back to Stella Rose Bella, where I talk about the latest Asian drama music and shows. Today I want to talk about the latest drama, Ancient Love Poetry. My first impressions of it and what I think of it overall. So let's get into it. So before I get started, I want to tell y'all that I have not read the original novel, so I don't know how the characters are supposed to be like, so that's I want to make that very clear <laughs> before anything. So this drama stars uh, Zhou Dongyu as Tian Gu and Xu Kai as Bai Jue. I apologize, my pronunciation of the character is definitely wrong. But anyways, Zhou Dongyu's character is supposed to be like this <laughs> goddess who is like very powerful um, or in some sense she's supposed to go through this trial that's upcoming and she hasn't really re have her powers like you know come out yet for some reason and they've been there for like thousands of years and so and so on and so forth and um, so one of her like her brothers is like oh why don't we ask Shukai's character and come and teach her instead and so right off the bat you see that uh, Tian Gu is actually really like like a very childish character and not really knowing much which is not something new if you've seen like other dramas such as like San Shen San Shi or like Xiang Mi or even Liu Li the sort of like the more recent one and so that is the female leads character how she's like and all the male leads they're all like I'm someone that's been like more mature and like sort of like lived longer than you and stuff like that and very cold that type of character so that's their sort of story and like she has to go to this trial to sort of like which they've known about it for years and somehow they just let her be for some reason so just like okay um that's that for that so i'm sure that if y'all are on the internet or into see like dramas you probably know how some people feel about it on the internet um some people were talking about do dong yu's like outfit and like how it doesn't fit her character or everything like that for me personally i had I was totally okay with what she was wearing and like everything like that and Shukai as well. So secondly, the actor's portrayal of the characters. So as I said before, I have not read the original novel so I don't know how these characters are supposed to be like in the original story. Um, but I can tell you that I can sense the change in the characters. For example, when Tiangu was like way in the beginning, she was like very like childish a little bit and very like immature but then later she's like no i need you know i need to like really practice and everything and you know for like a thousand years and just let me do you know my own thing and i would definitely grow and like you know when you know when the birds leave the nest <laughs> that type of idea like you know bye leaving home and they come back and you know what i'm saying and so like i did sense the difference between like from her character in the beginning and after like a thousand years she came back so it's a very different like Tiangu. I feel like that's great. As for Shu Kai, um, <laughs> Shu Kai's character right off the bat you see you get this like you can tell like he doesn't really smile much obviously and his friend Tian Qi even gave him a nickname Bing Kuai. <laughs> So like he's an ice cube so you can get off the vibe that he's not really like he's sort of cold and just not expressive as much um, but he's like sort of like very like mm, sort of that vibe but I can tell you that from what I've watched I have felt like because his character is like a mature like sort of like an old guy vibe and like you can get that sense from his character's portrait like his portrayal of this character so that's what I want to say about the characters themselves and how I feel like they do give out the vibe that that the character that was written for the character for the script also going back to Zhou Dongyu some people had like some people don't like like she was like Sha Bai Tian or whatever um and for me because like I've seen her in another drama before 
I've never seen her movies. She does a lot of movies, like, you know, um, a lot of the times. So I haven't seen her work from that, but I did see trailers for those movies. And I do like her portrayal of those characters. And I don't know, I think it's because I really trust the two actors because I've seen their work before. So I was like, there must be a reason why they probably want to take on this role or this job or like the story, like what's the story and everything. So that's that. But um, Dorong Yu, I think like for me, I feel like she's really cute. I don't know why, I've always felt like she has a sense of like, I think she's really cute. So I didn't feel like her being sort of like, a really like <laughs> immature person was not really anything I felt like it was weird. I felt it was totally okay and I felt like really cute in some sense as well. So another thing I want to talk about is the chemistry between the two leads. So I have to say that like I felt like Tiangu and <laughs> Bai Jue, like their relationship is sort of like quick to me I feel like. Um, I even when they cried when they like had to say like bye bye and stuff like that. I didn't feel like they cried and everything, but I didn't feel for the couple, um, their characters. That's that. Um, I think I need time to get into their story because it's still in the beginning and you know that they go through legends and shit. And like, let's see like how that develops into the characters and everything. Like Tian Gu and um, Bai Jue, like their characters, their uh, as I said before, their relationship line is very rushed a little, and um. Did I feel those like little like fun hong pao pao when they were like interacting the both of them? A little bit, but I wouldn't say like a lot. Um so but I do know that they because they fall in love in different lifetimes, so I'll see how that goes overall. But so in this drama overall, um I'm not gonna say I like totally like it or I totally hate it. It's like in the middle for me. Um, because their storyline is something that I've seen in other like Xianxia Lei dramas before. And um, one thing I would like to say is that like this drama, this cast is really, really big. Um, and I've seen the who are the other cast members in this drama and I've seen their work as well. So I'm really excited to see how they portray their characters later on in the story because um, they haven't appeared yet in the drama so I don't know how that's gonna go and I think I'm really interested in seeing how Dorong Yu and Shikai portray the d different characters that go on to like different lives lifetimes I guess I don't even know how you explain it but basically another life um, reincarnation um, well not really but like you know what I mean um, of that those characters that are very different from the ones that they played in the beginning of the drama. So I'm really excited to see the change and like what they do for these characters because they have different personalities and everything like that. One thing I would like to note is that um, one of the characters, Tian Qi, the actor who plays Tian Qi, he has appeared in a lot of dramas that are like this genre for a lot of times. So it's really funny because every time I was like, so this time you're gonna be in charge of the Helven realm, you know? And stuff like that. So I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, he's always there. Um, so that's that. I do have to say with the story because first of all, I don't really, I still don't really know much about this world. Because in this world, in the beginning, they have introduced like a little, very tiny bit of introduction of this world. Okay, there's these three Sanjie. There's like Xin, and then there's like uh, Yu, Yao, and Mo. These three like Sanjie, and then like there are these four people who are Zhen Shen and like da 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 and stuff like that. And then like for me, who I have never read the book before, so I have no background or like sense of like who their characters, like their level of their level in the heaven realm because like there's like Shang Shen, Zhen Shen, and uh, Zhu Shen. Apparently there's those as well. And so like the thing is that I still don't know these like different levels. I think that's really confusing. I feel like they should have done better job into sort of like giving more of a background onto these people because I really don't really don't know much about this world still and I'm still confused. I do have to say the when I watched the trailer for this drama, which everyone was like really excited when you know this drama was announced and everything, and I have to say that how the heaven realm looks 
is so pretty. It's so, so pretty. And like all these like CG effects that they have in there, like I love it. Um, but I do have to say, I'm just going to see how the story goes on. Um, because I don't know, I just want to see what happens. And would I say I continue to watch it? Yes, I would. Um, and yeah. So that's what I think of this drama. Everyone has their own opinion about everything. Anyways, that is my first impressions of Ancient Love Poetry. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you like videos like this as well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, bye.